In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use paint.net to create a passport type photo from a much larger photo. Paint.net is available for about $7.99 from the Microsoft Store. To see this video clearly, you should click on the full screen icon on the video. I'm going to choose the open icon on the toolbar and then double click on the photo that I want to work on. I'm going to click on the select icon on the panel on the left and then I'm going to select the area of interest that I want to work on, which is that area there. And then I release the button and I copy that to the clipboard. Now I want to get rid of my canvas, so I click the red X up on the top. And then I click to create a new canvas. Notice the width and the height there are preset based on the image that's copied to the clipboard. So that's fine. I'm going to reduce that down further. But all I want to change here is the dots per inch down to 72, which is the standard for printing photos out on paper. I click OK, then paste the photo into the canvas. Now I want to reduce the photo down. This is where paint.net is much better than Microsoft Paint. I hold down the shift key, then I click on the lower right corner of the photo. Now I can increase or decrease the photo without distorting the aspect ratio. As I'm increasing it, I'm, as I'm decreasing it, I'm looking at the status bar. I want to bring this down to 300 pixels in width by 316 in height. And that is fine. And then I copy that to the clipboard. I want to get rid of my excess canvas. So I just close my canvas all together, create a new canvas, change my dots per inch down to 72 for printing. I can see my width is 300, my height is 316. That's fine. Click OK and then just paste the photo in. Now, all I have to do is save the photo. The default option is PNG, but I want to choose JPEG because there is better compression built into the JPEG file format than PNG. PNG has advantages in other areas, such as in transparent backgrounds, but I'm not interested in transparent backgrounds in this video. So all I do is click Save, and I can see in this dialog box that has come up that I have an option for reducing the compression down further if I want to. For example, I've this drop down saying Best Quality, which brings the file size up, but Best Compression is what I'm choosing, and the file size is down to 87.4 kilobytes, which is a nice economical size. And I click OK. And if I close down my paint.net and look at my photo, I can see when I click on my photo down the status bar, it's 300 by 316. So that was a tutorial video on how to use paint.net, available from the Microsoft Store for just $7.99.